Hey, welcome to this video. We're gonna be doing Lee Code problem 231, power of two. So given an integer, write a function to determine if it, if it is a power of two. So one is a power of two because two to the power of zero is equal to one. So it's 16, right? Because you do two to the power of four, you get 16 back. But there's no way you can get two, 218 if you do two to the power of a whole number. And so, there's a lot of ways you can go about solving this. One way I can think of is we create an array of valid numbers that are powers of two, but I'm gonna offer something a bit simpler. And it's easier if I show it rather than explain it. So I'll do my code editor. And if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get, uh, you're get you notified of any new videos I release. With that said, let's get started. So I'll create a variable called i, is set to be equal to one because one is a valid power of two and we're gonna make i valid powers of two. I'll say while i is less than the input number, right, n, then we're gonna multiply i by two. So i times equals two. And then I'm gonna say return i is equal to the input number. So by the time this while loop finishes, i will be either equal to the input number or greater than it. And i will always be a valid number that has a power of two. So that's why I return, return that i is equal to n. And if I copy this code, paste it on to lead code, let's make sure it passes their tests. And it does, great. So what is the power of two complexity analysis? Time complexity is O of log n. If our input doubles, like the input number, then our while loop runs just one more time. And the space complexity is O of 1. All right, that concludes this video.